So here we've got the Sprog 2 version 3 um, USB module for programming DCC chips. Um, as you can see it comes with a USB cable, plugs into your USB port and then it's got four quite simple to connect outlets. Um, one is 16 volt, well 10 to 20 volt DC actually, mine's 16 volt um, DC in and then the other one is um, two wires that go to your track, which power your track. There's my loco, which is already on my test track, and a wagon. And then here's the interface. So the software that I downloaded was um, JRM, JMRI Decoder Pro. And basically, in fact, I'll minimize this. Basically the software package is like this. So you can quite easily um, see your loco, which I've named a Hunslet and it gives you your decoder model, which is, in my case, a Ditrax DZ125, and gives you some details when it was modified, and you can save it to the roster. And then basically, you can go through some options. So up here's all the CV options, so if you scroll down to the right, it knows all the CV values and options for your loco, based on your decoder. So CV1 is the address of the loco, um, CV2 is things like, um, it's acceleration and then you've got cv3 which is deacceleration and it goes on or maybe that's and then you've got its um speed and its midpoint um and there's other values that you can change the great thing about the software is it's very easy to use and what you can do is you can make a lot of amendments and write all those amendments to the cv at once so you're not programming one value you edit all the values you want to change, press one button, and then it changes all the CV values. The other thing is that it has different motor options, and it also has basic speed control, which is basically start volts, mid volts, and max volts. And then it has a speed table, which you can tweak to your heart's content, and it might help with things like mainline loco, shunt locos, those sort of things. Um, function maps as well so if you're programming lights stuff like that and because it recognizes which decoder you're using it recognizes the special features of your decoder so mine is a digitrax and part of that special feature that this particular decoder offers is it offers short circuit protection it offers um, switching speed which is like shunting speed um, torque compensation decoder lock and speed compensation control um, as well as advanced so there's a consist. So basically it knows what added extras each decoder offers. Um, the interface for controlling your loco looks like this. And basically it's a function panel, an address panel, which you can dispatch and release the loco. You've got idle and stop, forward reverse, and then you've got your speed here. Your power option here is to power the layout. So obviously red is off green is on and then this one here is um, to stop all GMI managed throttle so you can actually stop the bottom throttle body. You can add a loco and you can have a roster. So actually for 45 quid you could actually run your whole layout if you've got a computer off of this program. Um, some people connect it to a Raspberry Pi and use a wireless interface and their mobile phone or iPad to control the layout. So it's quite a good option. The good thing about this is that if you've got a basic DCC controller like myself, then this allows you to set and change the CV values um, on a test track before you go to your layout. Um, and it works really well for me. I quite like it. I quite like tinkering with it. I was quite surprised how easy it was going to be. Um, and I quite like how you can program lots of variables, save them into a roster, and then change those variables as and when you like and you've always got them backed up. So if anything goes wrong, or if perhaps um, a decoder was to go you, or blow, you can still write the values from that decoder onto a new decoder. So it's quite a handy piece of software. Um, and kit. So here's the throttle. I'm just gonna try and run this loco. So it will probably stall because that's my luck, but here we go. So I'm just gonna slide the toolbar up to forward and then hopefully the loco will start running. So as you can see, it's very smooth, very slow. You can probably run slower. Um, 
and very quiet as well actually. I haven't really done anything special with the running on this one. Um, I've just tried to get it running as smoothly and as slow as possible really. You can add things like inertia, so you can slow it down so it comes to a halt um, like a real steam loco and also acceleration, deacceleration, things like that. Um, for me it was just a priority to have it running extremely slow or as slowly as possible um, so that you've got control over shunting and narrow gauge trains don't really particularly run very fast so it was nice to have that control. It's glues. So yes, I'm very pleased, um, and certainly if you think about DCC and you don't want to spend a fortune on a system, then this is a very good alternative in my opinion, and it comes, it's quite simple to set up, and it gives you lots of control options, and if you're someone that likes looking into um, CV values and tinkering with electrics and Legos, then it's a good option. And there we have it.